Several insurance payers have recently announced that they will be paying for ambulance service when treatment has been given but no transport was made. This includes Anthem Blue Cross in the listed states. The payment for this will be around $380. With this new policy, they can encourage EMS to treat on scene with a reimbursement rate that is roughly the same as Medicare would pay for a BLS level emergency transport, but which is also much less than an average ER visit bill. Of course, I'm all for this. It's definitely a benefit for ambulance service suppliers and one that is long overdue. However, it comes with some challenges. Here are some things that you should consider in getting prepared to take advantage of this new payment policy. Number one, you'll have to identify early on which patients may have this type of coverage. This may require some dispatch involvement or crew inquiry. Number two, you'll need to set a rate for this treatment without transport service. It'll be HICSPIX code A0998. Number three, actual treatment must be documented by your crew, whether that be in your normal trip report or on a refusal form modified to include a treatment section, it's really up to you. Number four, the patient's signature for assignment of benefits should be captured, and if you're using a modified refusal form, that will need to be another one of the modifications. And finally, number five, crews may need additional training on all of the above, as well as the decision-making process an informed consent piece for patients that are not being transported. Finally, keep in mind that even if you're not in one of the 14 states listed above, other payers have either implemented similar policies or considering it, including some Medicaid programs and possibly even Medicare in the future. I strongly feel that this type of payment policy will spread. Therefore, preparing for it cannot start too early.